Hi, this is David Brow. I've been selling real estate for close to 10 years. Our team of highly trained professionals along with our marketing plan has sold hundreds of homes all over Fort Wayne and this is how we do it. Hey everyone, so I am here with Holly Herman and she is one of our newest agents here at Anthony Realtors. And uh, Holly started just a few months ago in real estate and then um, in our company. So she went through our agent launch program and Holly is off and running. Um, she's doing really well. And uh, Holly, I just wanted to welcome you and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule um, to uh, talk with me today. Um, so just get right to it. Why did you get into real estate? I'm always curious. Uh, a lot of people have all different um, kind of backgrounds and, and answers of why they got in real estate. So I'm curious why you got in real estate. And I, I really don't know. I don't think I've ever asked that question. <laughs> well, um, I've always been interested in real estate, even since I was a little kid. And I um, took the route of waitressing. Um, so I had a son young, so that just kind of provided me. Um, I was able to raise him and still make money. And then I got married and had two more kids and decided to be a stay-at-home mom instead. Um, but then I realized my youngest kids will be going to school and I kind of wanted to do something for myself. And I thought, why not real estate since I was already had been interested in it. Gotcha. Yeah. So are you, how do you like it so far? It I actually love it. It's yeah. been a little bit of an adjustment, um, to like time block my time. Cause I've been used to just, you know, being a mom and so it's a little different, but I really like it. Mm -hmm. So, um, so time blocking is a challenge for everybody. It's a challenge for, I think it's like one of the, the key things if you master in real estate um, that you can master, if you master time blocking, I think everything kind of just like falls into place naturally after that. Um, you know, I think some of the best real estate professionals are people who just consistently do the same things over and over again. I don't think it's normally like just raw talent. Um, so with that, you know, we talk a lot about time blocking here. Um, is that, is that a, one of your biggest challenges um, out of everything that you've encountered? Like, I guess, what is your biggest challenge? My biggest challenge at first for me is technology. I've never okay. liked technology and it's always been really hard for, I used to never have my phone with me and now I feel like I have to have my phone all the time, which I'm fine with, you know, so mm -hmm. I can get to those clients. But that was really hard for me to start at first and then just learning um, different technology platforms that I hadn't been used to using. But mm -hmm. the time blocking has been huge for me because once I realized how to manage my time better, then everything seems to flow better. Yeah. Sure. So what are, when you do time block, what are the things that you do during the time block? Uh, Definitely the most important would be the prospecting for business. Cause if you're not prospecting, then you're not going to have anything else to do the rest of the hours of the day. <laughs> that's very true. There's almost nothing else to do, especially when you're a brand new agent uh, like yourself. Like there's literally nothing else to do other than try to find people who want to, you know, buy or sell real estate. So um, that's good that, that you, you know, bought into that early on in your career, I think that'll, that'll probably serve you well. And with the uh, technology piece, uh, you come a long way. You were, you, you didn't know a lot. Still about learning. Technology. There's, yeah. And uh, we obviously, you know, use a lot of technology. We leverage a lot to, to help us um, save time, be more efficient, communicate better, stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, you're, you're doing, doing a good job. You got Slack down. You now we got the yeah. Boomtown down. So, um, so, so that's great. Um, what, as you become more proficient at technology and, um, you know, uh, refined your time blocking skills, like what, what do you see just curious, like in the future, like what are some challenges that you, the next challenge you think you'll have to overcome kind of like in your career, like, um, maybe like running out of time or just like trying to find different types of, of clients, stuff like that. I have noticed already that, um, there isn't enough hours in the day and a lot of people like to um, connect at night, which is fine, but you have to want to, you know, be able to do that. And I'm, I'm fine doing that. It's just realizing that, okay, that's what I have to do. So maybe like more of my kid times more in the mid afternoon and instead of like, you know, dinner, bedtime, um, time areas. But I think um, a challenge that I hope to have here in the near future would be being too busy perhaps where, mm -hmm. you know, I'm already starting to get more busy where I notice, like, you know, people want to go see this house and that house and that takes a lot of time and you mm -hmm. can't be on your phone while you're out driving. Mm -hmm. So, yep. 
harder. Yeah, and then um, I I think one thing that you I think you do really well is that you um you are really good at just naturally establishing trust with people. Like people just naturally trust you because because your personality. Um, so I think that you really care about people, and it's you know it's pretty obvious. Um, the the difficult part is scaling that you know to when you start getting more clients, um, you know, and being able to be there for people, and that's when time like really becomes more and more precious. Like wow, you know, I wanted you know do I seem to help people, and now I got to choose on how, like what do I do during the day, you know, to be more most efficient. So yeah, absolutely, I could see that as your business starts to grow. Um, you have to make decisions like, you know, what am I supposed to be doing during this time? So, um, so, so far you have closed, uh, let me back up. You got your license just about three months ago. So we're in June, 2020 right now. So you got your license right in the middle of uh, March and, um, already, uh, since you started, you've already closed two transactions. Um, and then you have two pending so that is awesome. And you're already, um, you know, on pace to, to do more. You've got some buyers that you're working with, I know, like pretty heavily right now. So that's great. Um, just, you know, to give you some perspective, the average agent, it takes months sometimes just to get one sale. So you've done a really good job, Holly. Um, your goals in the next 12 months, I was looking through, um, you want to sell 24 units or $3 million in, in volume. Um, and that is a uh, that's a big goal. The average real estate agent typically across the country sells about eight houses a year. So that's tripling what the average agent does. That is experience. And you're coming out, sorry, out you're of the gate. Up. Oh, sorry. And you're coming out of the gate. Uh, you know, I can hear you now. OK, so I was saying that the, your goals for this year are to sell 24 houses and um, about three million dollars of volume, which is pretty exceptional because the average agent only sells eight million dollars, or sorry, eight houses a year typically. So um, that's really awesome. And you're starting with no past clients, you know, no no real pipeline of of people that you had been talking to. So um, do you intend to, you know, reach that goal? Your first twelve months of selling twenty four houses, you already got kind of four four in the pipe. You, yeah, you still three plan more on doing it? In the works, but yeah, I definitely awesome. want to do that. If not, like I don't know. Nowadays, I feel. So like I want to strive really hard to sell one a week. I know that's yeah. kind of hard, but if I could do that, it would be super awesome. But I would yeah. be happy with 24. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, it. I think, uh, you know, as time goes by, as you get more past clients, you know, and then you get more referrals because you do such a good job for people, uh, that one a week is very much uh, within your uh, realm of possibility. I, I truly believe that. Um. So, um. What do you, what would you say to being a newer agent like yourself, um, somebody who has uh, taken the class, obviously passed the test and is kind of off and running, um, doing things right now that a lot of real estate agents um, really hope to do in their first couple months of being in real estate. What would you say to anybody else who um, you know is thinking about getting into real estate that would like to be doing what you're doing right now? What would you say to them? I would definitely say watch Tom Ferry videos. Yeah, <laughs> Tom Ferry's the man. Yep. Read a lot of books on it, um, mm -hmm. like prospecting and stuff and mm -hmm. role playing. Another challenge for me was like the phone calls and trying to get through the scripts. I still think I struggle a little bit with that because I um, sometimes might not get through all the qualifying questions, but um, I continue to work on that every day because I want to be more, you know, affluent when I'm trying to talk to somebody to have it flow more naturally. So definitely mm -hmm. like practicing that, I would say. Okay. They just like continue to learn, never really stop doing yeah, that. There's always something new. Just when you think you know something, it changes mm -hmm. or there's something else. Mm -hmm. Another thing for me I want to learn is like all the mechanicals of a house and like how to be able to like point out things that are bad or so I can better like help somebody. Mm -hmm. just be more knowledgeable in all aspects, I guess. Yep. Yeah. And um, I think you and I were talking about that uh uh, maybe a month ago or so, but just being at um, inspections, you know, asking questions. Um, it they most people I found they're happy to help. You know, if you if you come like, hey, I just don't I don't understand how this works, whatever, and you're just a, a sponge to information. Um, you'll you'll learn really quickly. So that that's awesome that you 
care to, to know aspects of a house. A lot of real estate agents I found, um, they might have been in real estate for a while and still don't know like the fundamentals of like you're saying, like the mechanicals and stuff, which I think is um, kind of shocking because the, what we're trying to sell is houses. It's, it's yeah. you know, really important to understand how, them. right, to, sure. to know how, how things work. So being a real estate agent, um, you're, there's a lot of things you have to, to know and be real skilled at. So like communicating, you know, working in technology, it's a, uh, it's, it's crazy when you really think about how much stuff you, you got to know. But, um, so what would you say to anybody who's thinking about joining our team? Would you recommend them to, to, to join us or, um, you know, I know we're not for everybody cause we do hold people to, um, I think, you know, higher accountability than, maybe the average company, but what would you say to somebody who would be thinking about joining our team? I would highly recommend our team because everybody's so helpful. And um, if I ever have a question, it's like super quick to get it answered and like helping me learn and like the whole agent launch thing. I learned a lot of stuff during there that I didn't think I was going to learn. And even like times if I was feeling overwhelming, like you and Kelsey definitely helped me feel better about things and helping me learn like what I need to do. And you, the team definitely shows like the path of how to succeed. So if you just follow the steps that you show us, I feel like anybody could succeed if they do that. And our, all the other teammates too are very helpful and it's nice. Thing. Yeah. I would, I would say people pretty much support each other here. So that is, that is nice. It's nice to feel supported. Um, so Holly, um, thanks for taking some time out today to to chat with me. Um, Thank you. Keep doing doing a great job. Uh, hope to maybe maybe uh, when you're at your one year point in next uh, March 2021, we can uh, have another uh, interview and hopefully yeah, we'll talk about 52 houses. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that'd be awesome. So, uh, and what well, next set of questions? You know, you will probably working with a lot more sellers, getting listings, stuff like that. So I'm excited to see your career, um, you know, kind of develop. And uh, thanks, a, thanks a lot for being a part of our team. We Thank really you appreciate you here. So, um, But yeah, I will uh, talk to you later, Holly, and uh, have a good day.